What do we got here? Original blueprints to the USS Maine, 1887 to 1889 before the ship was sunk. That's really, really cool. These are the propelling machinery and also 10-inch turret mounts. Whoa, um, I've definitely never seen anything like this. I came to the pawn shop to sell my blueprints of the USS Maine. I got these from an antique magazine. I researched for over 10 years. They're the only ones that I know of that exist. I like to sell them because uh, I could use the money. The Maine was one of the first battleships ever built. It was over 300 feet long, massive armament. Yeah, the amazing thing is rotating turrets was such a massive advance. 20, 30 years prior to this, I mean, warships, basically, you had your guns sticking out the side, and you had to line up next yeah, to each other. Yeah. These were like some of the first guns that could actually shoot over the horizon. These things would shoot like 15 miles. It's also the ship that uh, ended up blowing up in, uh, was it Cartagena it blew up? Uh, Havana Harbor. Havana Harbor, OK. Yeah. Relations between the United States and Spain were already really stressed. The blowing up the Maine basically was the excuse to start the Spanish-American War. Exactly. Um, the battle cry for uh, the Spanish-American War was, remember the Maine. Mm -hmm. When the USS Maine blew up, it was most likely an accident. But there was so much tension between the United States and Spain, basically, we wanted an excuse for war. This right here appears to be boilers. Yeah. Uh, these, I imagine, would be piston-driven steam engines. Yes. This is the gun. This is the turret it's on. And they would rotate on this right here. Mm -hmm. um, this is the back of the ship. This is basically the way things were stored. That is neat. So how much do you want for them? I want 9,000 for this one. I want 6,000 for that one. And I want 10,000 for this one. OK. Um, these are my big concerns here, OK? They're not blueprints, OK? Blueprints are going to have measurements. We have no measurements here. Right. So these are the preliminary designs. Before those guns were put on the ship, these were made. All right. I want to find out exactly what these are. You know, I, I got a buddy who collects all this military stuff. Um, do you mind if I have him come in and take a look at it? Not at all. Let me give him a okay. call. All right, sounds good. This is an incredible find. This is one of the most important ships in American history. This inspired the battle cry, remember the Maine. The sinking of this ship started a war. If these are the preliminary designs, this could be worth a lot of money. Wow. Guys call me down to the shop uh, when they need to know something about a particular antique, or they need to know a value. The USS Maine is, uh, is an, it, to me, it's interesting because it sort of caused the Spanish-American War, or not cause it, but give us reason to, yep. to go and get involved. The USS Maine is important more for its political history. And the US government had sent it into Havana to sort of let the Spanish know we were there, and it blew up. No one really knew why. The one thing we got out of the Spanish-American War, aside from the Philippines, was Guantanamo Bay. And as we all know, it's still around. Do they all say Isaac uh, Friedenwald? Yes. This one also says it, and this one also says it. So he is a lithographer in uh, Baltimore. He's a publisher in Baltimore. This is exactly what publishers do. They're going to put their, their name on the document. I don't buy these having been printed by the US government. They had private sectors that uh, did work yeah. for the government. Yeah, point taken, but I've never seen government documents that have like a private publisher. They have entire buildings devoted to printing stuff. The ship was finished, I think, in 1889, and it was launched in 1890. What's the date? Um, 1889. OK, that doesn't make sense. Why would these be preliminary designs if? They would have had to have designed this years earlier. I mean, this wasn't. That's what I'm thinking. To de design and make a gun like this would have taken years. At least, right? Rick, I know what these are. I think these are propaganda documents. I mean, after the Maine sank, the United States government used publishers to make a big deal about the fact that the Maine had sunk, and that got us into the Spanish-American War. These are definitely not construction documents, I can tell you that. I think they're old. I think they have some history. But this, these were probably printed after, after the Maine went down. No, I, I disagree. If you check the date, the ship had not been launched yet. So I believe you're wrong to say that these were propaganda or made after the Maine was sunk. Why? would a government take their top secret design for a new battleship and send it off to a printer in Baltimore? Doesn't make any sense. They're interesting looking. I mean, imagine framing these and putting them in your library. If you like naval history, this would be great. Other than that, I don't see a lot of value here.
tops, tops, if you really want to put something classic looking, you know, up on a wall, framed, three or 400 bucks a piece. Yeah. Am I close? Well, no. I, I mean, want 25,000 for them. Yeah, see, it's like totally different planets. These are not what you say they are. These are what I say they are because these were made before the ship was sunk. That may be true. Okay, let's just say, yeah, they outsourced these for some reason, and these did have a pre-sinking relevance. Mm -hmm. They're still not construction documents. I mean, they're, to me, they're one of many copies made, and they were made for something. Maybe they were made for an official purpose, but I still think they're worth three or 400 bucks. Yeah. So that's just my opinion. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> You're welcome. If anything, these were copies. They could have been copies made during the period. More likely, in my opinion, they were made after the USS Maine was sunk. Well, the guy may be expert on a lot of things, but he's no expert on this, I can tell you right now, because I am 100% positive these are not propaganda, nor were they made after the main was sunk. OK, I mean, it's just, it, that's my guy. I mean, I got to go with what he says. I don't think someone's going to pay that kind of money. I just don't. I just believe that there was a lot of these probably printed up. If there was a lot of them printed, where are they? That it's the only one. They might be the only ones, but I still don't think they're going to bring that kind of money. OK. Um, thanks for coming in, though. Right. We weren't able to make a deal because the expert's opinion was different than mine. I'm going to keep trying to sell them. Uh, somebody will buy them eventually. I know they will.